All right, I ran into this solver question online. I forget if it was Reddit or what, but I think it was Reddit, the calculator subreddit. I thought it was interesting. So anyway, they didn't go into detail. They just talked about how their solver gave them a weird answer. So I thought I'd look at this with some different calculators, the usual suspects. So on the sharp, I'll, I'll put details, I think, in the comments, but on the sharp here, it's got a wonky solver. I like the calculator okay. The keyboard's great, but calculator's a little tricky to get used to. But to use its solver, this is what we're solving. Tangent of some angle equals y over x. There's our little picture. We can tell it's going to be a large angle. Something, um, you know, definitely close to 90 or way more than 45. So on this calculator, you have to have everything on one side. So tangent of x, and I have to bring everything over. So I'm going to do minus, and then we're going to do 158.79 over 21.21. Hit math, go into solver, and I'm just going to, I'm going to take the defaults. And it sits and it thinks about it. And it thinks and it thinks. And it thinks some more. If I was Dr. Seuss, I'd be keeping you uh, intrigued, but I'm not. I have nothing to rhyme. So let's see. Still working on it. Okay, finally got an answer. 9802.39 degrees. I'm doing everything in degrees, which I believe is actually the right answer. The problem is you'd have to subtract a whole lot of 360 degrees to get to your answer. Um, so we're not going to mess with that right now. Let's look at the Casio. And its solver is more intuitive. You do tangent. I say that, but you have to know to use this special little red equal sign. And then uh, 158.79 over 21.21. And shift solve. Give it a guess. Um, I'm going to put zero since that's what we did on the other one. And go. Way quicker. 442.39. It's strange that it's not between zero and 360. I'm not sure why it hones in on that number. That's the odd thing. If you subtract 360 from it, 82.39, which is the right answer. I'm confident that's what we would get if we deducted enough 360s from the sharp. All right, we're going to look at the TI. TI solver is more intuitive. It's slow, but it's more intuitive to use, I think. Shift, number solver. I got to clear. This is kind of dumb, though. To clear, you have to clear the one side, jump to the other, clear it, and then come back. We're going to do tangent. This is a little strange because, uh, never mind, it's not. I'm remembering wrong. Tangent of X, hop to the other side. 158.79 over 21.21. We'll guess that it's zero and we'll tell it to solve for x. Oh, I just noticed this is in radians. I'm going to stop it real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, mode, change it to degrees. I don't know what I was thinking there. Number solver, it's still got our equation in there. We'll start at zero and go. Small, you probably can't see it on camera, but there's small puffs of steam coming out. Okay, actually, that wasn't that bad. And what's great, it's got the right answer. It's in the uh, first quadrant. So, slower than the Casio at getting the answer, but it's the right, in quotes, the right answer. A more useful answer. Um, and then let's do the last, this granddaddy here. The prime. And I'm going to touch on one thing I'm doing different here. So for this I'm going to use CAS mode, computer algebra, algebra system. I've got some shortcuts set up. So I do shift user and then I pick this button here and it goes into solver. I'm going to create another video showing how to do shortcuts. I learned it from Eddie's Pie. Um, he had a blog post and it was a beautiful thing to find out that you could do shortcuts for things you use often. All right, 21, and then we say solve, and it's like pretty much instant, 82.39. So the prime is a beast. It, it's a great calculator. 
And this concludes the video. I just thought it was an interesting thing to demonstrate. Adios, amoebas.